Hello humans, it's just Martine and welcome to a week in my life at college. It's Monday morning, 9.30 a.m. I just picked up a bagel to eat for breakfast as a special treat for me waking up at eight and getting straight into textbook reading. It's going to be a crazy week, but so far I've read one chapter of my abnormal psych textbook and most of a second chapter. I'm gonna go and finish that chapter up and then we'll probably get down to some logic homework. Let's do this. I finished up my logic homework that's due for tomorrow's class and then I made an appointment with the Dean of Students to verify my absence for the interview that I have on Thursday. Now I'm going to have therapy. It's approaching one o'clock and I just got back from lunch. Now I'm going to sit down and work on some reading quizzes for my serial killers class. Yes, it's the kind of fun stuff I get to study. So I'm at least going to take one of those quizzes and then bribe myself with something like soda and then keep on keeping on. So let's get to it. I took both quizzes, did not drink soda, and then continued on to read a really long chapter of my textbook. So go me. So now I get to cross that off of my checklist, which is exciting. This checklist for the week is starting to look doable, but then I remember that like Thursday and Friday won't exist for me. So that's fine. It's, it's going well. Now I'm going to go to the store to pick up some things that I need and then we'll get back to it. It's almost 4 p.m. and I got back from the store and then watched like a YouTube video and then I was going to force myself to get back to work because I have such a crazy week, but I have a really bad headache and I have a lab meeting in like 45 minutes anyway. So I'm gonna take that amount of time off and then do the things I need to do tonight. Like I have, I have places I need to be, meetings I need to be in. And after that, I'll reassess with myself how I'm feeling, what type of work I might still be capable of doing today or what type of rest it is that I need either way, break time. It's 6.50 p.m. and I just got home from a club meeting. I had a lab meeting from 4.45 to 5.30. At 5.30, I had a quick meeting with some other people about some things. Then I had a really quick dinner. And then at 6.30, I had a meeting for an honor society. And now I'm back and I'm going to do my stretching routine for the night, so I'm gonna get set up for that. I've been stretching recently as one of my forms of exercise. My main form of exercise is and will always be walking. I've hit 13,000 steps today so far. So that's my main form of exercise. But in the new year, I've been focusing on strength, balance, and flexibility with the focus on balance and flexibility in those three things to help, especially because working some muscles in my core and upper legs is supposed to help with the blood flow that my body has natural trouble with because of my disability. So I'm going to stretch slash do yoga for a bit here. It's gonna be a good time. So here's the truth of the matter. When I said earlier that I had a headache and I was going to rest, I did have a headache and I did try to rest, but then there was nothing that didn't like cause my head pain and I couldn't fall asleep. So all I was doing was thinking about the pain. So I was like, actually I'm going to get back to work because otherwise I'm just thinking about the pain. So I read some of my abnormal psych textbook, not a full chapter, but Part of one. All that to say that now I'm actually going to take a break for the night. I'm done work for the night. It's almost 7.30. I just finished stretching. I'm gonna sit here, watch YouTube, read a bit, and I'll catch you tomorrow. Happy Tuesday. It's like 8.20 in the morning. I'm leaving for class at nine. My first class of the day is abnormal psychology. And I have two classes today. So I have abnormal psych and then I have logic. And then I have office hours for my organization. Aside from that, it's just getting more work done and such. So right now, while I have a few minutes before I leave for class, I'm actually going to look at some articles that I need to know about for one of my interviews this week. I'm gonna get to that. All right, it's about time to head out to class. My backpack is packed. I just need to refill my water bottle and then I will be on my way. It's happening. 
uh, one of the worst experiences ever on a college campus, a campus-wide Wi-Fi network outage. None of the Wi-Fi networks are working. My dad is not even working properly on my phone, which is fun. I do have some homework I can work on offline, but it's definitely not ideal. And uh, especially for people who still have important things on Zoom. In my class later today, we're supposed to have a quiz online and I really need us to do that today and not move it to Thursday because I won't be in class on Thursday. It's just about time for me to head to class. As of right now, the Wi-Fi has come back, which is good. So I did one assignment offline and then it finally came back online. I worked on the discussion post and since then I've been working on textbook reading for my serial killers class because the chapters are so long. So I didn't quite finish the chapter. That I was reading, but I have like 11 pages left in it. Once I get back from class, hopefully I'll work on that. Just had a quick snack. I'm gonna hit the road. Usually for my office hours, I would do homework, but I've done quite a bit of homework today and I might do some more homework tonight. Either way, I'm going to read during office hours. Also for fun reference, the Wi-Fi started going back out again during my class. So we didn't take the quiz and I'm gonna have to find a way to take it at a different time. I just got back from dinner and it's disgusting outside, like cold and rainy and any other synonym for horrible you can think about. But they did a restock at the grocery store on my campus today, so I have a little grocery haul for you. They only truly restock it every like two weeks and once it's gone you're just like staring at empty shelves hoping against hope that something you want to eat will appear. These are just snacks. I eat my main food in the dining hall. I'm not one of those like healthy eating college students. I eat uh, things that taste good because I'm not always hungry. So when I am hungry, I'm like, I'm gonna eat it. And I eat lots of salty things because I need to because of my dysautonomia. So just here's what I got. I got two cans of Lay's stacks. I would have gotten original Pringles, but they were out of original Pringles and I wanted the original flavor. So I got stacks instead, which are fine. I got sour gummy bears. I was looking for these the other day and they didn't have them, so yay. And then I decided to splurge and get these special cookies even though I have cookies and other sweets in my room already uh, because they looked yummy. I wanted them. They're not going to have them for very long because I think they're like a Valentine's Day special. So I got these little cookies. They're so cute and they're gonna be Yummy. That's it. Now it's officially nighttime. I'm not gonna do homework anymore. I did a longer stretch last night. I don't really feel like stretching for very long tonight, so I'll probably stretch for like five minutes. Uh, I need to take a shower at some point. I wanna get reading done. Wanna watch YouTube now that the Wi-Fi appears to be up. Maybe try one of these cookies. I'm not sure how much I'll update you tonight, but that's the plan. Happy Wednesday. It's also cold and disgustingly rainy out today. And usually on Wednesday, I don't have any classes. That's still true today, I don't have any classes, but I do have places to be. For instance, I'm about to leave and head to a meeting with the Dean of Students to try and get my absence excused for tomorrow. So, hope that goes well. If not, I'll cry. We'll see. It's not even the original start time for my appointment. It's like 8.56. My appointment was at nine and uh, it's all done. Absence verified, good to go for my interview tomorrow. I thought it would be harder than that, honestly. It's almost 2 p.m. and I just did some interview practice with my sister and now I'm going to write a quick article summary. It's just past five and I'm headed to dinner now. So after the practice interview stuff with my sister, I did the article summary and then I worked on some research for my research lab for like an hour and then I relaxed for like 30 minutes and then I worked on editing videos since then and now I've edited two videos which is great and now I need to grab a quick bite to eat because after dinner at like six I have another research-esque meeting. Finished my meeting. I would have updated you right after but my phone was updating and it takes a long time because my phone likes to connect and then disconnect from the school Wi-Fi, so that's fun. And that's why I hadn't updated it in so long, but suddenly the battery was like zapping. So I hope it was that, because it says it's at peak performance. That better be true. I was going to tell you though, I don't want to stretch, but then I stretched for like 37 minutes, like a good little bean. And I did this one stretching routine that like killed for some reason. Then I 
finished up the video that I was working on before the meeting. I had uploaded it and scheduled it and everything. I just needed to make a thumbnail and I wanted it to be a cool thumbnail because it was for my superhero video. So I think it turned out great, but maybe everybody else will hate it, but that's my favorite thumbnail I've ever made now. <laughs> I just love it so much. This is the last I'm gonna talk to you tonight, but I'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's a big day. <coughs> it's 11.30, and you might not be able to tell it by how awake I am now, but at 11 p.m., I had been asleep for a little while, but then the fire alarm went off, and we knew it wasn't a drill because we already had our fire drill for the semester like two days ago. So anyway, I rush out of the building. I wake from a dead sleep. I throw on a sweater because it's freezing outside. Somehow, I manage to put my lanyard on under the sweatshirt, which is not a thing I do. Manage to grab a mask. I get myself outside. I see nothing but concerning things. Security, first of all, they show up in a timely fashion. I told my sister, this is the most concerning thing that happened. They showed up in a timely fashion. Usually the fire department arrives before security. So it was a huge deal. Security shows up, they go into the building, and usually you walk them, like walk into one part of the building, and then you watch them walk out of that part of the building and move on to the next, they're just clearing the building. But no, this time they walk into part of the building, and then they walk out of that part of the building, and then another security officer with a fire extinguisher joins that person, and the two of them go back into that same part of the building. And a couple things crossed my mind. One, you're bringing a fire extinguisher in there, uh, you went and got a separate person with a fire extinguisher. Is there not a fire extinguisher inside? That was confusing. Second of all, I was like, what is happening? Anyway, the moral of the story is, luckily, everything's fine, but I was out there for half an hour after being in a dead sleep. I'm so dizzy because I just like stood up right away and went going and my body doesn't know what's up or down. I now have to get myself back to sleep. And the rumor that I heard was that a light bulb burnt out. And this is why that happened. Good time. Just had class, ran back to my room. It's time for an interview. Well, the number of interviews. Let's do it. It's almost 3 p.m. and I'm on a quick break. I still have some lab meetings to go to. That's less of a high pressure situation because the professors aren't going to be there. It's only grad students. So that's good. The people I've talked to so far today have been really nice. I'm just really tired and my head really hurts. Probably because this is about how much water I've had today, which is very unlike me. I've just, I've been busy talking and nodding my head and smiling and nodding my head. So interviewing, so crazy. Because no matter what you're interviewing for, you still have to go through the mental exhaustion of meeting a new person and trying to get a grasp on what they want you to be right away. And that's so taxing. I don't know how I'm gonna get through tomorrow with another set of interviews. It's 6.20, I'm done with interviews for the day. I have a club meeting at eight. Before then, I'm going to relax. My headache's feeling a little better. Did I even tell you I had a headache? Yeah, I think I mentioned I had a headache. It only got worse, but then I ate dinner, so it's a bit better now. So just gonna keep drinking water, relax a bit, have a club meeting, sleep, because tomorrow's going to be a long day, because I have interviews from the morning to the early afternoon, and then I have class at night tomorrow. I have not read more of War and Peace. Thank you. Thank you. It's 2.16. I just got off of my last Zoom call for this Friday. Did I even talk to you this morning? It's Friday afternoon now. And I had another series of interviews today and they also went well. Lots of good conversations with lots of people. Yesterday during my interviews, it was like a mix of different types of meetings and I only had two like individual meetings, but I had to, meet and talk with six different new people today and my brain was like ah i gelled really well with almost all of them it was a good time and i got some really exciting news that i've got to think about uh late this morning so i'm out here having a good time now i'm just waiting to talk to my mom for a bit I'm relaxing i need to definitely eat something because they did have lunch today but i i can't have dinner at a regular time because i have class from four to eight and it might end earlier than that, like a normal dinner time, but I'd still rather eat something beforehand. So we'll see about that. Yeah, well, I might get a bagel. Should I get a bagel? I'm just gonna say it. In what world is this toasted? <laughs> it's 6.30 p.m. I just got back from my serial killers class. 
we ended by watching a video of Ted Bundy. It's not the best Ted Bundy video, but it was a Ted Bundy video. Friday night, that's the end of my school week. I am going to be doing homework this weekend, but I'm probably gonna do like a separate vlog for this weekend. Be on the lookout for that in the future. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and comment down below. How are you doing? What's up in your life? Are you good? Are you good? You're looking great. And subscribe for more reading, writing, and college lifestyle content. And until next time, bye humans, bye.